Hey, hi everyone. Welcome to the another video of Postman series. So today in this video, we are going to see about the monitors. Okay. So in our previous video, we have seen the options that we have to run our collections in the Postman. So you can run your collection manually from the collection runner window and you can schedule your collection run and we have seen the Postman CLI also. Okay. So now there is one more way where you can run your collections through monitors. Okay, so monitor is one more topic. So if you just go to the postman here, so here you can see the monitor tab. Okay, so what is this monitor? So when you create the monitors, the monitor let you run a collection periodically to check for its performance and the response. Okay, which means the postman monitor will give you the continuous visibility into your health and performance of the, your API endpoints. Okay. And there are a couple of types uh, when it is come to monitor. So you have an uptime monitor, which is currently in the beta mode. Okay. So in the uptime monitor, what I mean, right now you can you can keep watch on the single API endpoint. Okay, you cannot watch for the collection. So for example, if you have one or two API endpoint, you can create multiple this uptime monitors. Okay, so still this is in the beta version. So which means it is, I mean, the active development is going on. Okay. So if you want to create something for a collection level, then we have to go for a collection based monitors. Okay. So what is this collection based monitor and how to create? I'm not going to discuss about the, up, uh, I mean, uptime monitor because uptime monitor, I have already created some quick video about the same. Uh, you can check my uh, playlist uh, under the postman playlist. You can check. Now we are going to see what is collection based monitor. Okay. So the collection based monitor, in the sense it, it, it runs in the series of requests from the postman cloud on the schedule that you have set. Okay. So for example, on daily basis, I have to run this monitor for eight o'clock. Okay. 8 a.m. or every Monday you can schedule or every five minutes or every 10 minutes you can go for it. Okay. So now let's go here. So, okay. So this is a monitor. So monitor, you can just click on the create monitor or, or you can click on this plus icon also. Okay, and here I'm going to give some monitor name. This is monitor. Okay, so I have given this one a name and the collection, right? So this is a collection based monitor. So now I'm going to create one collection. Okay, this is a collection which I have already used. So let me use the same, okay? And when it has come to environment, so if you have any dependency on the environment variable, you can select the environment variables. Okay. Otherwise, you can ignore them. So, for example, this test. So, I mean, for this collection, if you have some dependency on the environment variable schedule or, or you have set up, so you can use the environment variable also. So, the next one is data file. Okay. So, like a CSV file or, or a JSON file that you want to supply the data to your, your collection, that one also possible. You can apply here. Okay, you can upload the files. And this is what the, your scheduler. Okay, so the, so the minute version will not be available because this is this is come with only the paid version. Okay, so for the paid plans, uh, for example, if you have the paid plan, then you can go for a every five minutes. Okay, that plan also available. So now we don't have this one, so let's go to the R time. Okay, so I'm going to select a server here. So if you want to go for a weekly timer, for example, a Monday to Friday on this particular day, I mean, particular time. Right, so like that you can schedule. It is more like a cron job what we schedule in the Jenkins. Okay, so after this, so there are a couple of options uh, like automatic select region, which is your local time, and manual select also it is come with the paid version. Okay, and if there are any failures, you will get notified through the email. So you can add one more email also. Okay, and if you want to stop the communication, email communication after three consecutive failures. Okay, if the API endpoint is keep on failing for every one hour. We don't want to get the emails from the postman. Okay, so after three consecutive failures, we want to stop the email because somebody has to look at this. Okay, so retry run failures. So you can go for a two attempts. So for example, due to uh, server down or network connectivity, if the if the first run is failed, so you can go for a one more run. Okay, so set timeout. Set timeout. You can see here. So a monitor cannot exceed more than ten minutes. So which means, so the monitor that you are going to plan. It, the collection, right? So the collection is going to run on the monitor and the monitor is basically going to run on the postman cloud, okay? So if the collection, the entire collection request time, I mean, the execution time should not exceed more than 10 minutes, okay? 
So you can you can define your time out also. For example, my collection I'm expecting more uh, within to be completed within the five seconds. I mean five minutes. Okay. So that kind of configuration also you can do here, and this is in the milliseconds. Okay. And set blade uh, delay between the each record. So this is I we have seen in the collection runner itself, right? So if you want to set some delay between the each request, you can use this, okay? And follow redirects and enable SSN validation by default, you can check that. So now you can just click on the create monitor. Okay, so here you can see the monitor is created. Okay, this is how the monitor page will look. So now you can go to edit. If you want to make some changes, you can go for edit and you can make the changes. Okay, so now we just update the monitor. So now as per this one, so it will run on my next one hour, which is 10 o'clock. Okay, so now it is 9.53. I'm going to run one time manually. Okay, this is running. So you can just click on here. So your test results, console log, everything will appear here. Okay, so just wait for a second. Let's wait, wait to complete this monitor execution. Okay, it got executed and there are some failures. You can see it is coming as unhealthy, right? So when I click on this red color, uh, I mean image, or uh, this red color bar in the screen, right? So here you can see there are some failures. Okay, and you can go to the console log. So whatever the console, so whatever the request detail went, everything you can see in the console. So the test result, one test case is fine. Okay, so what configuration we have done. So if I go to the edit here. So here what we have done. So we were getting the email checkbox, right? So receive the email notification for the run failures and error. So now let me go to my email and I will show you we got uh, any failures or not, okay? So we have to, we are supposed to get the email from the postman stating that there are some failures in the monitors, okay? So now here you can see uh, failures in the monitor. So just a uh, few minutes ago, I have got received the email from this postman. So monitor name is this monitor and this is a collection name and there are failures, okay? So here you can see there are one test case is failed. So that's the reason we got the email, okay? So now I'm going to update this again. So this run we have done manually. Right. So we have clicked on the run button manually. So let's wait for the another two minutes. One more run, it has to happen automatically from the postman because we have configured to run for every one hour. Okay, so if I go to the edit here, so every one hour is we have defined for the scheduler. Okay, so let's wait for another two minutes. So we'll see one more entry will be created automatically here. Okay, and this postman monitors, right? So this will get countered to our account. So when I click on this update button, you can see the monitor usage is currently 20. Okay, it is only 1,000 per month. Okay, because we are using the free version of Postman, you cannot go beyond the 1,000. So make sure if, if your monitor is not in the use, just go here and, and click on the pass button. Or you can do the delete also if it is not there. Okay, so this is going to run on the Postman cloud, even though if you are not using your laptop or your Postman is closed, so still it, it, it will run and you will get the email notification if there are any failures. Okay, why? Because this is running on the Postman cloud. So this is what we have seen in the yesterday also, right? So by the name of schedule collection runs, right? So when you go to any collections, so for example, we go to this workflow collection, okay? So in the workflow collection also, if we go to the run option, so here also you can see schedule run, right? So when I click on the schedule run, I'm, I'm getting the same screen of what I have seen in the monitors, correct? So here the difference between the, the monitors and this collection runner is, so people can use the collection runner for frequent, okay, for, for frequent in the sense, so for example, if you want to do some functional testing or regression, you can use this. So what is the purpose of monitor in the sense? So, so something like uh, if you, you want to monitor the API endpoint in the production like a 24 bar seven, okay? In that case, what you can do know, you can go for the monitor. So monitor is especially created for the health check and performance of your API. So this run scheduler, right? So we are going to run our functional testing or regression testing, right? So those kind of API testing purpose, we can use the schedule run, okay? So monitor is 
it is all about to watch your api is up and running okay the api performance is healthy okay so now let's go back it's, it's a time o'clock now let's go back to the monitor and let's see there is a one more entry is created or not okay here you can see 10 am so the entry is created again we got the failure so now also i should be getting the email so let me go to my inbox so so here you can see i got another email in the 10 am stating that there are some failures okay so this is how the monitor being used so similar kind of schedule run also you can use for your collection if it is if it is like a more like a functional testing if you want to okay so for monitor the purpose of the monitor is we are we are going to um, watch the, the the health or the performance of the api okay so you can use the collection run for the monitor typically is used to schedule run your i mean for example you want to set some alerts or like some something like that upon the failure you can go for the monitor okay so rest of the cases you can i mean by by default you can go for a schedule run your collections okay so that is the difference with the postman run i mean monitor and the schedule runs okay so these are the two types one is uptime which is in the beta so where you can use only one endpoint for the monitor okay uptime and this is for the collection monitor so you can select any collection that you want to monitor for. okay so for example in the production you have a 10 api endpoint you want to maintain that always up and running okay you want to check the health check for every one hour in those scenarios you can you, you can go for this and make sure this has only limitations of thousand okay so earlier it was 20 now again my five request has got it executed in this particular monitor so it got increased to 25 okay so i don't want to run this monitor further so i can go and click on the pass okay which means this monitor will not execute further okay as per schedule it has to run on the 12 o'clock i mean sorry 11 o'clock okay so my last run is 10 a.m so my next run will happen on the 11 a.m okay so that is how we have configured on the schedule monitor okay so this is all about the monitor. So monitor is primary is to, to watch and to check your APIs are up and running and the performance is good. Okay. And here also you can write some couple of test cases. So here we have written the test cases to validate the status code. Correct. Right? If any status code fails, I mean any response code fail, I mean any test that you have written assertion fail or if it is coming unexpected like a 404 or 500 or so, you will get the email. Okay. So instead of 200, if you get a 404, that's an error, right? That is unexpected error. So for that error also, you will get the email, okay? So that is all about this monitor. So if you guys have any doubts or query, please uh, feel free to ask in the comment section. Thank you, guys.